How's it going guys? Jake here. You're watching Dude Ranch DIY. Today we are doing some more tree work with the Cormidi skid steer. We got Chris in the background here who's setting up to take down these two leaning white oaks. We got the big more bark 16 inch chipper here. We're going to be chipping into the back of his truck and then just dumping the chips here on site. And we actually started this job last week and now we're, we just got off work. So we're gonna finish it up today. So let me show you what we got done the other day. So last, I think it was Thursday, we came with the Cormidi skid steer and just Chris and I, and he took a big leader out of this uh, maple tree that was leaning over the house. He took another big leader that was leaning over this driveway here out of this maple. As you can see, we cut down probably four more, you know, nothing crazy, but smaller trees. Um, one of which was back behind the house. The rest, <coughs> excuse me, the rest of this was limb wood. There was a dead cherry spar. And then we stacked up all of the brush with the Erskine grapple and the mini skid steer here into this pile. And we were waiting to bring the chipper back to get it all chipped up and dumped. So the last two remaining trees that we got here today are these two white oaks, this larger one that's in the front here, it's leaning. And then we got this smaller one back behind it. Um, so while Chris is setting up, I'm probably gonna get his truck into position and I might just start chipping up some of these logs that'll fit through the chipper and we're gonna get underway.
climbing up this second one. Uh, Formiti's working really well so far. We'll talk more when it's not as loud. But as you can see, I've had a little practice. I just told Chris not to say anything because I saw the look on his face and he saw the look on my face. Explain what we just did there. So, in, what, how, what was that? In, we we an got hour here at four o'clock and it's just about six now. 
Okay, so you, two hours. Yesterday we came here, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half and removals. Those two prunings is like another. Yeah, but they were big leaders. I mean, it was so like a seven ton of brush, seven removals or something. <laughs> I showed him the pile of the brush. Yeah, at first it, it doesn't look that big from the picture because, especially because the cormidi just kind of packed it all in there. Um, <laughs> but you know, I got here today. We had two removals left. We had that big pile of brush. I thought we were swamped for the night, not getting home until nine o'clock. And uh, this cormidi blew me out that of the was, water. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I. Before I even came down, the, the pile was just about done. You had a couple of graps, grapples left to do. Drop the sticks. We got. We still have to cut those up. But yeah, we're he, gonna move a couple logs. If, I figured out how to feed the chipper. Yeah, I think this was a perfect place to learn that because you, you know, on Joe's job, you were moving here, moving there, pulling this, doing that. You couldn't yeah. really focus on you on the machine loading the track. Right. The, it was more. Chipper. That was a good job practicing the controls and kind right. of seeing the capability of what this thing could truly do yeah but at the end of that job we said you know i even i think i even said i asked you guys if you have one of these things or think of any ideas of how to feed the brush into it from the machine instead of just dropping it and then having to hand feed it and i just figured it out i figured out if this is the chipper and this is you know where the brush goes in you kind of approach it at a 45 degree angle until the tips of the brush are in the infeed table and then since it's a skid steer you could just turn on a dime and it feeds it straight in the only thing i really was missing and i even said it to chris at one point was that i need like a button or a remote control for the downforce on the chipper that was like the only thing that i was getting off if you saw me getting off and pulling that lever that's the downforce the hydraulic ram to crush the brush to help feed it in mm -hmm. but like the only thing that I would say about this is if, you, if you're doing a job in the grass or on somebody's lawn and you're trying to feed the chipper with it, you're going to dig yourself a big hole yeah. by the end of the job. Well, I think but it's almost the, worth it yeah. to bring the chipper or to bring the brush out to the chipper right. on asphalt or on a road or something yeah. because, I mean, this thing's pretty fast. Oh, it's great. It's, you know, that was, <laughs> I'm very impressed. Yeah. Very, I've been doing tree work professionally for about 10 years now, and for a solid fixed grapple, I'm, that was cool. That was pretty cool. I'm almost speechless. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? We got a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to pick up the camera. I'll show you guys these two white oak sticks. We're going to, what are we cutting up to? Firewood? Four, four foot. Four footers. So that'll be easy with the machine. We're going to stack it over there. Turns out the homeowner actually wanted logs yeah for, um, so small miscommunication but he's got plenty of wood here so uh yeah we'll get those logs cut up and that'll be the video all right guys that's gonna wrap this video up i think uh chris and i were both pleasantly surprised to say the least with uh, the speed at which we went through that brush pile uh, all due to the Cormidi uh, C1500 mini skid steer and the Erskine industrial grapple uh, that worked really well uh, I yeah. mean much better than my plan to come back here and do it by hand on Friday yeah it was <laughs> fun to come so we came last Thursday today is what Monday we wanted to come Friday afternoon and we were kind of short on time due to some other engagements that we had going on. So we decided to push it off till Monday and uh, I think it was a good, good choice. We, Very good choice. <laughs> we probably could have gotten it done due to how fast we got it done today, but you know. It was all good. Uh, we were very impressed with that thing and we got a happy customer and this is actually the customer that I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we did a little barter work, tree work for excavator over at my property to build the new wood yard. Yeah. Um, gotta he's gonna come yard. in. Yeah, we got some things happening end of June that we need the wood yard up and running uh, for. So he should be coming over hopefully within the next couple weeks when he gets some time. Bring the excavator over, clear some rocks, clear some stumps, do a little grading, filling, you name it, and uh, we'll get that wood yard 
in ship shape, ready for firewood season, which Chris is excited about, and I am excited about. And I know a lot of you guys are excited about it, because a lot of you guys watch it for the firewood. So, um, that's it. I'm Jake. I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.